Hello, Eagle Naz. Happy Friday to you. It's Friday, and we're moving into Father's Day weekend. And I want to do a special shout out to all the dads at Eagle Nazarene Church. Sunday is Father's Day, and we honor you, and we celebrate you, and we salute you. And I certainly will be thinking about my dad on Sunday and, and honoring his memory. My dad was a was a great guy. He was my role model, he was my hero, he was my friend, probably the gentlest man that I ever knew. And I know this isn't very spiritual, and I apologize for this, but sometimes when I'm facing a tough decision or I'm in a situation and I'm kind of wondering which way to go, the, the first thought that comes to me is not necessarily what would Jesus do. Oftentimes, I literally think, what would my dad do? How would he handle the situation? What would he say? And so I, I guess that's okay because my dad is about as close to Jesus as anybody I've ever met. But we do want to say Happy Father's Day to all the dads in our congregation. And, and I also want to do a special shout, shout out to my son-in-law, Jason Chan. Jason's a good man and he is a good dad. And I, I, uh, I appreciate the way he's been a good role model for my two grandsons, Jalen and Jackson. And so I just want to honor Jason this weekend and let him know how much I appreciate him. There aren't many men in my life that I appreciate and respect more than Jason Chan. And as we honor the dads, I, I hope that every one of you get everything you want on your Father's Day wish, lips, wish list. And uh, you know, whether it's power tools or it's, it's uh, fishing rods or whatever it is, uh, I, I hope that, uh, that those wishes come true for you. But we all know, I think, that the very best wish for any of us is a happy home, a happy, peaceful home. And Pastor Tim reminded us this past Sunday that one of the ingredients in a happy home is a spirit of confession and repentance that, uh, that we must be willing and humble enough to say as dads, listen, I'm, I'm sorry, I messed up, I blew it, I was wrong, please forgive me. I shouldn't have used that tone of voice. I shouldn't have raised my voice in that situation. And I know Pastor Tim shared a, shared a personal experience with his son Colton, but it takes a real man it takes a real strong man, a real godly man, to lead by example in that area of repentance and confession in our homes and in our relationships with our wives and with our children and with our friends. It was just such a great reminder from Pastor Tim that a, a spirit of confession and acting on that and repentance leads to reconciliation and it leads to peace and right relationships and a happy home. So that's my wish for you this weekend and moving forward. It's also my wish for me. Uh, I wanna exercise that, I wanna apply that in my life. I, I wanna be a man that's, that's quick to say, I'm sorry, I was wrong, please forgive me. So happy Father's Day to all of you. God bless you, I, have you, I hope you have a great weekend and that your relationships continue to be strengthened as we focus on a spirit of confession and repentance that leads to good, good relationships. So God bless you and have a great weekend.